the world is a sadder place as far as I'm concerned without my mom and dad. David Scarborough, a man convicted of killing a Farragut couple in their home 26 years ago, may be up for parole. His parole hearing was on Thursday, but the court hasn't decided whether it will be granted. The victims, Carol and Les Dots, have family members who continue to fight for justice. Tonight, reporter Mary Klingler sat down with their daughter, who says coming face to face with their parents' killer forces her to relive that nightmare. Mary. Beth, yes, Scarborough is serving a 66 year sentence for killing those two people, not even halfway to it, and he could be released. But the victim's daughter says she won't stop fighting to keep him behind bars. Left foot, right foot, left foot, right foot. One step at a time. I still start to go to the phone to call my mother. That's how Jeanne Dots Brakowski has lived the past 26 years. It does make you relive the nightmare of the day that you found out someone that you love so much had been brutally murdered. David Scarborough and Tom Gagney Jr. were convicted in the double homicide in February of 1995. Scarborough took a plea deal three years later, admitting to the killings. He was sentenced to life with the chance of parole. If someone shows you who they are, believe them. These are liars, thieves, drug users, drug dealers, and murderers. They have shown us this. Believe it. Now she waits to find out if one of the men who killed her parents will be allowed to walk out of jail. Disgusted, frustrated, scared. I don't want him to get out and do the same thing to somebody else's family. She says no amount of time could make up for what he's taken from her. It's not something you can just flip a switch on. These were two of the most important people in my life. She says she'll continue to fight to keep justice for her beloved parents, Carol and Les. The dead cannot speak for themselves. It's up to the living to do so for them. So that's what I do. Now that parole hearing result is expected to be released by next Wednesday. Beth. All right, Mary, thank you.